Welcome to San Francisco's Haight-Ashbury District, named for the intersection of its two main streets at which we are standing now. Haight-Ashbury was an upper middle class residential area throughout the early 1900s, though it was hit hard during the Great Depression and became mostly desolate as families left for more affordable places to rent. During World War II, there was a housing boom and many of the once single family Victorian homes were converted into boarding houses and apartment complexes. At the end of the war, the area declined as many of the houses were left empty. As we learned at the Embarcadero Freeway, the development of freeways was often controversial. A proposal of a freeway that would run through the neighborhood instigated a massive uproar. In January 1959, neighborhood preservationists and environmental activists protested so vehemently that they managed to get the approval needed for seven freeways rescinded, but that still wasn't enough to deter planners. On May 17, 1964, at least 200,000 people rallied in Golden Gate Park against freeway construction. As a result of the freeway threat, the neighborhood became relatively low rent, and in the late 1960s, Haight-Ashbury became a hotspot for young, financially unstable hippies. The hippie movement was a youth movement born in the period of discontent after World War II. After two world wars and a depression, Groups and movements expressing their frustration with America gained speed and popularity. One such group was the Beat Generation, a poetry movement in the late 50s. Coffee houses and jazz clubs became gathering places and spawned a, mo a movement of black beret-wearing beatniks who refused to conform to societal norms. The phrase hip, used to describe these poets, ultimately grew into the derivative terms hipster and then hippie. By the mid to late 1960s, many other events had inspired disillusionment, including the assassination of President Kennedy, the high death toll of American soldiers in Vietnam, and the civil rights struggle that was beginning to rear its head across the nation. There had never been more Americans under 25 at one time. There were over 90 million of them, or half of the population. As discontent rose, these youth began to take action. One journal article from 1969 argues that the factor that distinguished hippies from other movements was their thought-out alternative to conventional society, explaining that they set a calculated example in their own communities with the hopes that society would follow their lead. The movement's key tenets were connection to nature, communal living, artistic experimentation, and often the use of recreational drugs to attain a different level of consciousness. Theodore Rauzak, a writer, described the hippie's ideal world this way. It would be a world where people live gently on the planet without the sense that they have to exploit nature or make war upon nature in order to find basic security. A simpler way of life, less urban, less consumption-oriented, much more concerned about spiritual values, about companionship, friendship, community, sharing ideas, values, insights a world in which that was considered more important than the gross domestic product. North Beach, another San Franciscan neighborhood, had been the beatnik hotspot in the 1950s. However, as it became more commercialized, bohemians who were younger and could not live there due to overcrowding and expense turned to the relatively cheaper and much less populated Haight-Ashbury. Most of those pre-war Victorians were still vacant and low rent. Throngs of young hippies converged upon the neighborhood during the summer of 1967, often called the Summer of Love. People from all over the country, of all ages and races, journeyed to hate Ashbury to listen to music and engage in rituals and protests. Ultimately, however, the community could not sustain this massive influx, and the area became rife with crime, drug use, homelessness, and overcrowding. In effect, the Summer of Love marked both the pinnacle and the downfall of the hippie movement, leaving Haight-Ashbury a so-called drug ghetto. The neighborhood remained in disrepair until the mid-1970s, when it finally began to revive economically.